It's time oh. for investigation. Ouch. Pardon? It's time for investigation. Ouch. Can you guess what this is? Any ideas? Let's take a closer look. Well, it's a real close-up of something inside your body. It's the inside of your ear. And those little orange brush things are hairs that enable you to hear. They're not normally orange, they've been coloured so you can see them more clearly. This is the bit of the ear you can see, the outer ear. Sound vibrations come in this way before ending up in the inner ear. Here, they push past little hairs on the cochlea, causing them to move, and this transmits sound information to the brain. The louder the sound, the more the hairs bend. This is Professor Chris Plack, Head of Research in the Audiology Department, that's hearing, at Manchester University. So how do we damage our cochlea? Well, the um, hair cells inside the cochlea are very, very delicate. If you're listening to loud noise, then these can be blown around and disrupted. That's why it's important to protect your ears. But as you get older, the hairs naturally degrade and don't work as well. Take a look at this. Remember those little hearing cells that look like hairs? Well, this is what they look like in a young person's cochlea. Now compare it to an older person's cochlea. See how some of the hairs look scraggy and some have fallen over? This is natural damage that happens as you get older, and it's why you might have to speak a bit louder for your nan or granddad. Now, we're about to do a brilliant sound test that you may be able to try out yourself. But make sure your pets are out of the room because they can be very sensitive to high-frequency sounds. Also, you may not hear some of the tones depending on what TV you have, and it may not work on some tablets or phones. But give it a go anyway. I'm going to show you how your hearing changes as you get older. And to do this, I'm going to need a very technical piece of laboratory equipment. This is Ocean, and he's seven years old. And I'm going to go head-to-head -head with him to find out if my hearing is better than his. It won't be. Don't be so sure, young man. Sound frequency is measured in hertz. A low frequency noise of around 400 hertz sounds like this. And as you increase the frequency, the sound gets higher. This is a thousand hertz. Go higher still, and eventually you can't hear it. So right now, go and get a grown-up, especially one who's a bit older, maybe your granny or granddad, and see if they can play along. You're going to lose. So get ready for the first sound. If you hear it, put your thumbs up. Ocean can, and so can I. Yay! So we can both hear a sound at 8,000 hertz. Could you? Next. Ocean's good, and me too. A double tick. That was pretty high. How did you do at home? Next. There was no sound. There was. There was no sound. There was. Didn't you hear anything? Another thumbs up from Ocean, but I can't hear a thing. So, Ocean's one ahead. Did you hear it? If so, I can officially declare you are still a child. Next. I heard that. No bother for Ocean, but thumbs down for me. How did you get on? Don't worry at home, Grandad. You can always blame the telly. Well, you only beat me by 4,000 hertz. Still one. Loser, loser, loser. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel old. So the delicate hair cells in your cochlea enable your brain to hear noises. And as you get older, some of them disappear, making it harder to hear. But you can protect them. So remember, if you're going to listen to One Direction, do it at a safe level.